Guys, a couple of things I want you to think about. Like, firstly, from this point, like, like hit two points straight away. Firstly, knee to knee, elbow to elbow together, inner thigh muscle, squeeze into this point. You're still showman, hips completely square, and then opening to the last stop. Yeah, front leg push, get back to that point, and then open into stop. Okay, one thing that I want you to kind of focus on initially is this inner thigh muscle connection. Everything that we're doing, like have this inner thigh muscle connection. So it's like really orchestrated, kind of really artificial, but I'd really like you to first pivot on your heel as you start, and then pivot on the ball of the foot. So from here, heel pivot, ball of foot. Pivot, in, move one pace up. Pivot, in, one pace up. So no energy is going back at any point, no energy is going back. It's this fine control of your center. So heel pivot, toe pivot, move. Heel pivot, toe pivot. It's just about training that inner thigh muscle. So, so the problem with pivot on the ball of your foot is that you really don't have to engage this in a thigh when you should have this sense of pulling in, in as you come, come round. And a superficial element of that is this heel pivot. And like, you know, like 90% of the turns in kata, if you think like, like Yan Shona, like these type of turns, 90% is this inner thigh muscle connection and heel pivot as you, as you make the technique. So it's, it's a training mechanism to try to keep this connection. Because for sure, once we start to apply it, and we're on the ball of foot, and there's no heel connection, then this inner thigh muscle connection is vital. Because you'll see a lot of people who are completely loose, and they won't be able to generate that power because they've not tucked that in in order to kind of drive the body weight. Push, make that connection, and you're going to open start in Same, same, and push me. Next week, next week. Squeeze. And rotate. And so in this case, where front is leading the way, we, want, we don't want to open to facilitate that movement. That's just the same as seven foot always you can go. Exactly the same, right? We want, we want our back leg, our driving leg, we want our center, we want that connection with our inner thigh muscle to shift our stance, to open into the stance, rather than facilitating it with the front leg and then just falling forward. It's micro controlling your body, yeah? So from here, driving from, driving from that back leg, and you're going through your body. This, through your body. Not, this thing. So, so that's one thing. Second thing is, as we drive, we're gonna get that kind of preparation hand to stop. And again, leg, hip, opening up. This, opening up to stop. Before, still having that leg to drive. So squeezing as you go through, getting this open to drive. Before, and I want to punch him, then I am not going to go like this. I'm just going to go. I'm going to stand. Like there's no, nothing more simpler than getting my hand in front of my elbow and then connecting it to my body mass. You understand? That's all you have to do. Think about punching Ross. Because <laughs> then that's going to be tight. That wants to be tight. In order to open kind of sharply. So, and the sharpness is about synchronizing all your body together. Understand? If this is a bit swingy, and then you're not going to have that ability to ex like expand in, a, in this linear way that you want. So, get, try to get elbow in, knee in. Peck squeeze, inner thigh muscle squeeze in order to produce that. Just still driving it, driving it. Rather than round. And making this back to the main event, right? Yeah.